Well, here we are, part two of our grand piano project. If you didn't watch last week's video, be sure and check that out. There'll be a link both in the description for this video on YouTube and also on my blog. But here's where we left off last week. Let's see if we can get this finished up this week. Okay, since last week I have painted the entire piano and I just used a gloss black spray paint. Uh, and I think, I don't remember how many coats it took. It took several, like three or four. Um, but I think it turned out really nice. It's got a nice shine to it, but it's not overly shiny. So now, the only other thing I think we're going to need yet, we are going to need a clear bead. I didn't mention that the other day. Now, let's talk about the insides of our piano. Now we have our piece I've been using for a pattern. So what I did was I printed that out on photo paper. This is a copy, the same photo, same exact picture, the same size, but printed on the highest quality my printer would print and on shiny photo paper. That's important for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's going to come out more vibrant. It's going to come out sharp, or as sharp as it can. Now, obviously, this was a small picture, and I've stretched it a lot. So I took that, and I used some permanent markers. By permanent markers, I mean an alcohol-based marker, like a Copic or a Pro Marker or a Sharpie or a Bic Market, whatever you've got. And I didn't trace everything, but I just tried to bump up the color on some of these and get rid of the pixelation a little bit. Not a lot, and it's not perfect by any means. I mean, if I would have spent more time, I could have probably made it look better, but I didn't. Now, we are going to cut this out. This is actually, and I actually, I messed up when I traced my keyboard, so I may have to do that again, but this is the keyboard we're gonna use. This, I'm going to cut out and slip into the piano. That's what we'll see with the lid raised up. The lid, I guess it's called a lid. I don't know what that's called. So I am going to, off camera, very carefully cut this out, and then I'll be back. All right, so I have all my parts cut out. This is going to go here. Now, I mentioned that we need to do this on photo paper. And I don't know that I didn't give you all the reasons. I think I gave you most of them. It will print better it will print brighter and sharper. Also, the ink dries much faster, as does your ink when you're working on it, highlighting it. So that will make it so you don't smear it as easily. Um, now, when you're cutting this out, you'll need to test fit it. I had to trim it a bit so it would fit. Um, and this fits in here. If I wasn't going to glue the... Um, the bead, which is kind of the way I kind of figured out to put the lid so it can be braced up. If I wasn't doing that, I could probably just stick this down in there and it wouldn't even need to be uh, glued. Now if, and I'm going to have to weight this down a little bit, I think, because I want that to stick flat before I go on to the next step. Now, if you want this to look even better, or much better, you could actually add little things to this, little like layers of paper or metal bits, jewelry findings. You could use all kinds of things in here to make this look more realistic. Uh, one thing I do want to say, and that is, this isn't my picture. So I can't sell this piano with these photos on it because I took these off the internet. This is for personal use. So if you want to make these and sell them, you'll have to get your own picture or draw the insides. You can't use somebody else's photo without permission. 
but for your own use it, it should be fine. So I'm going to make sure this is dry and when this is dry we'll come back and we're going to attempt to hinge this lid. I think I've got a pretty good plan for hinging the lid and then make it so that our toothpick can hold the lid up. So let's let this glue dry and then I'll be All right, back. We're going to do two steps right now. First thing we're going to do, I have this little clear pony bead. That is going to hold up the toothpick that is going to act as the, the bar to hold the lid up. Um, and I'm just guessing from what I saw online as far as pictures of where to put this. I'm going to place it right in here. You can put it wherever you feel it belongs. And I'm using the same glue. You could use any glue. This happens to be on my desk. So I want to get it used up now that it's open. Put a glob of that in there. And put this bead, making sure that the bead is standing up with the open side up. Now, if you want, and Bryce told you earlier, you could have this glued down. If that's what you're going to do. I'm going to try to hinge mine. I have an idea. This is one of those little rolls of narrow duct tape. It is, where's my ruler? My ruler's on the wrong place. It's about three-fourths of an inch wide. And the first bit is never very sticky on this for some reason. My idea is that I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut a piece about that long, and I'm going to put it halfway there, and then I'm going to put this on where I want it. I'm bend that down right now. And I'm lining up the front corners. And now I know where to line it up. So now we have basically a black hinge. Now if you want to cut that just a little bit longer than I should have, I see. Come off the end because it's going around the bendy part. There. And then just run your thumb against that. And you've got some time, you can kind of adjust it. And if we get this position just right, should work. Now that can be held up or you can take this off and display it that way. It's not quite in the right spot. This is going to take a little fiddling with because of the tape. There, that's a better position. There. Now I want that glue to dry before I, well, I could probably stick this in here. So there, now we have, and I dropped it. I will retrieve my toothpick. I think I want to leave this lid kind of popped up so that glue gets some air. But I probably don't want the toothpick in it because I don't want to glue the toothpick to it. So now the lid is attached. So I think we just have a few more details and then this project will all be right, finished. Everything is all set up. That's all dry. Now there's all kinds of things you could do to your piano to make it more realistic. I know it should have a music book rack, whatever it's called, on the top. It should have the little foot pedal thing on the bottom. I'm simply out of time this week. I'm going to show you one more optional detail and then we're going to call it quits because I think this is perfectly fine the way it is. So, and this is obviously optional. This product is called Glossy Accents and you get it with the scrap making and card making stuff. I'm going to do a couple of keys here. What I'm going to do, let's see if I can do it where, can you see? I'm going to run a little bead of this on 
just the black keys. And I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up when it's done. I like glossy accents for this because it has a nice fine tip on it. I may have to go in. I'm just going to do a couple. I'll do the rest off camera. We're going to let this dry, and when this dries, I'll come back and I'll show you, hopefully be able to show you the effect that this gives. All right, I tried to get a picture of the glossy accents, and in person you can see that the little black keys look more raised now. I could not get a picture that would show it, so, and my son isn't home this weekend to help me out with that. But this is really cool for adding dimension to a lot of things. Now, earlier in this video, I told you to attach the keyboard with glue stick. Ignore that. Use something else because my keyboard is now buckling when I got it wet with this. So I'm thinking either Yes Paste or Tacky Glue would have been a better choice for that. And I'm going to have to um, remove this and fix that. I tried to fix it with some super glue and that seems to have just made it worse. So don't do that. Learn from my mistake. But I like this. I think this looks really neat. It closes nicely. It looks cool open. Uh, like I said, if you want to make a music rack or, or, you know, the book rack thing up here, the pedals underneath, it would be awesome. I just, I've run out of time. Truthfully, my week has been very busy and I've just flat run out of time, so I have to stop here. And I'm not going to have time to get back to this next week. I hope you really enjoyed this project. If you make a piano, be sure and get me a picture of it. I want to see what you do with the project. Um, I've had several requests on the Facebook page to show how I resized the picture for the inside. So I am going to try my best this week to figure out how to film a video or else do a blog post on how to size a picture, how I do it. And there's lots of ways to do that. So join us on Facebook. Be sure and check the blog post for any additional details. And I'll see you next week. Bye.